Hey guys, Sid from Sid's Trains here, and a few weekends ago, I went to the York Train Show in York, Pennsylvania, along with a bunch of my other friends, and I got to meet a bunch of fans of the channel, and of course, buy some new trains. And it was an amazing experience. The York this past October was very interesting, as it was one of the first Yorks where I got recognized for my YouTube channel, and got to hang out with all my other friends, like... Chris's trains and things, RBP trains, Jason's Oge's trains, RJ's trains, and a bunch of other people as well. But this show was really interesting because the April show of York isn't always so popular. There's not as many people, the manufacturers aren't there. But this time, it was pretty good. There was a lot of good stuff in the halls and still a bunch of people. I was probably stopped like 30 times by people saying they recognized my logo, and they recognize my channel, my name. Are you from Sid's Trains? Like That's just what I kept hearing over and over. And the same thing happened with all my friends that were there. And it was just a really cool experience. And that's what York is all about. It's not just about buying the trains. It's about meeting people, hanging out, talking about the hobby. And then when the manufacturers are there, that's when you can talk about the hobby more in depth with them, what models they're going to make, and other things like that. But in general, this past York was really interesting, had a lot of fun, and got to hang out with a lot of friends, and got to meet a bunch of the fans of the channel. And I definitely recommend you trying to make it to future Yorks. There's another York this year in October, and in general, there are Yorks in April and October. So I definitely recommend you becoming part of the TCA, and then getting your York pass so that you can go to the shows, get into all the halls, get to talk with tons of great people and see amazing models. And speaking of models, I got a bunch of stuff at this show, really good stuff, I'd say. So let's go take a look at what I got. So up first, we have this batch of stuff you see here. This all came from the trains booth, that's trains with a Z. And speaking of trains, I have something special to announce. I am now a part of their affiliates program. So when you are placing an order on their website, www.trains.com, make sure to use code SIDSTRAINS at checkout to save $10 off your order. And I also have an affiliates link. When you are searching around on Trains' website and are purchasing things and have already used up that $10 code, make sure to use my affiliates link, www.trains.com slash SIDSTRAINS to help support my channel. And both those codes will support the channel. They, of course, help trains. And in return, you get amazing products. So make sure to check them out. And helping me out by using those codes means the world to me. And it really helps me make better videos, get better products in my videos, and in general, just helps out the channel. But speaking of good products, I got all this stuff at the trains booth. I got these Lionel Trains glasses, which are really cool. I saw them and my dad actually showed them to me and they're just kind of neat, it's kind of different. And then I, my dad also found this. It's a Southern K-Line diecast flat car, but it's also an operating car. Uh, if you use the K-Line controller, which you see all the controls on the bottom for that, if you use the controller, it will dump the logs out and it's just really cool, but the, the best part about it is it's diecast, it's heavy, it's got a lot of weight to it and it just feels really good and it looks good in this southern paint scheme and then behind all of that is the micro racers express this is from the the richard coon era or the lti era it's a very cool set and on the inside are these little micro racer toy cars and that's what really caught my eye and made it interesting to me they go on this flat car up here and just the fact that this set is so mint it's never been used 
is really what caught my eye. If it was all beat up and used, I probably wouldn't have got it. But it's mint, never been used. And for that fact, I just decided to buy it because it's so cool. I wanted to preserve this piece as the Micro Racer Express. That's just so cool. Up next, I have an assortment of freight cars here. Starting back here in these boxes, this is a Weaver coal car that my dad actually found at one of the booths at the show. It's actually still not completely assembled. This is an older Weaver car, so it still needs to be assembled, but still cool nonetheless. Uh, that was really cool that he picked that up, and you know me, I love coal cars. Speaking of coal cars, I have all these coal cars right here. These are all die cast. There's also a Peabody one behind me. That's a right-of-way coal car, but these are all die cast coal cars. This is an MTH one, and then these four are K-lines. I love coal cars, and when they're die cast, it's even better. Behind all these freight cars is this Pizza Hut box car from, I believe, the MPC era. It's very cool looking. My dad found this and he loves these kind of neat cars with uh, company's logos on them. So he picked that up. And then in front of uh, these coal cars is this Union Pacific uh, stock car and it's also die cast. It's from the MTH. Like I said, these die cast freight cars, they're nice and heavy, tons of weight, really cool. It's my favorite thing. They're just so heavy. And because they're heavy, you, you just like know that they're, they're a quality product. And I'll just move this stuff forward and you can see the other cars there. Then there's these two Weaver cars. I have a Weaver B&O box car and then a we, uh, Weaver uh, chemicals tank car. Very cool stuff. I'm glad I picked all of this up. And um, oh boy, I guess I gotta find space for this stuff now. I'm running out of space. There's stuff everywhere. But uh, yeah, I, I love these uh, these coal cars. That was probably my favorite thing, uh, rolling stock wise, that I got got at the show. I love some coal cars because I guess I am Mr. Coal Cars. But uh, I, I love all this stuff, and I'm really happy I picked it up for the show. So let's move on to some of the larger items. Oh yeah, listen to that. This thing is awesome. Let me turn the sounds down. This is a JLC Allegheny. This is from Lionel. It's a TMCC equipped engine. It's from the end of the TMCC era, around 2005. It is just an awesome engine. I've been looking for one of these for a really long time. And there was one thing holding me back, and it's a major issue that these engines have. But luckily, this one I've been able to salvage. And I found it in one of the halls with my dad. And when I saw it, I was just amazed and I was really happy that I was able to pick it up. I'll be doing a video on this engine in the future, talking about the issue, fixing the issue, and doing some minor mod modifications. But it's just awesome. Listen to this thing. This thing sounds amazing. Let's move on to the next item. And like with any train guide today, you gotta love the MPC stuff a little. This is the MPC Alton Limited set. It has the engine and all six cars, including the add-on car, which was made later in, I believe, the LTI era. I could be wrong on that. I'm not a big expert on MPC era stuff, but I do know this set is gorgeous. It has this cool, glossy paint job. The tender is different from most MPC trains in that it's die-cast. This is the die-cast tender along with this Hudson-type steam locomotive, which just makes it really cool. It's like a really high-end MPC era train, which that's really just what it is. It's this high-end, nice passenger train with the engine and all the cars and the amazing mighty sound of steam and that really good electronic whistle. It's almost hard to say that without laughing. Everyone craps on it for sounding old and staticky, but why wouldn't it sound like that? It was like 1970 something. Of course it's gonna sound like static and just this super high electronic whine. That's just what makes it so cool. It's just top of the line trains from the past and it's just gorgeous. It combines modern, a little bit of modern technology with the post-war style trains. That's just the best part about MPC stuff is, is just that. And of course it's gorgeous. So I'm, I'm really happy I picked this up. I got this from the Grzboski's booth. Um, they're amazing people. Uh, Mr. Grzboski and I uh, had a really good conversation about the hobby. And uh, I'm, I'm really happy that I uh, picked this up and stopped by his booth. Had a really good time. 
but you'll be seeing this in a few minutes and like I said just gorgeous picking up the camera here I'm just gonna walk around to some of the smaller stuff I got I got some more figure packs at uh, the the train show I picked up the pack that had these benches and a few more of these people I also picked up some of the people you see over here uh, I think I believe it was the uh, the people playing uh, baseball uh, some of the people over here I also picked up some more cars you see the A-Team van there, that uh, VW Bug. I believe my dad picked up this, this uh, Fiero here. And then I also picked up a, a C4 Corvette. Uh, I'm a big Corvette guy. Maybe down the road I'll, uh, I'll talk about um, the story behind C4 Corvettes. And then I also picked up some accessories over here. And uh, wait, wait, hold on. No, let, let, me, let me show you the... Um, the accessories first. Uh, I picked up these um, these floodlight towers. These are MTH floodlight towers, and I'll par probably be painting them black and then putting LEDs in them. But hold up, is that a, a turntable with a big boy sitting on it? It can't be. Yes, this is a turntable, and it does have a big boy on it. But this is a story for a different video. So enough of me yappering on, let's go run some trains. show at York got to meet a ton of great people thank you to all of those people who stopped and said hi to me it was really good talking with you all uh, I like to meet people who enjoy the channel and of course give me feedback on things and you all just told me that you really enjoyed a lot of the work I was doing on trains so I will continue to do work on the trains of course and content on engines uh, certain engines in particular but the show was amazing, got to meet a ton of great people, and of course get all this amazing stuff here that I was running and showing off in this video. Uh, but as always, I hope you enjoyed the video, and make sure to like, uh, subscribe, and click the bell for notifications, uh, comment below, and tell others about the channel. I'm Sid, and I'll see you next time, guys.